That was a weird one. Or different, I guess. Yeah. Uh, it was basically just an image uh, in my dream, and uh, I don't even remember, when I, once I say it, I don't even remember touching it, it was like, like mentally, I guess. But um, I saw a faucet. A what? A faucet. 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 Go ahead. That looked like cultured, cultured marble, pink and cream. Hmm. In color, uh, with uh, handles that looked round and thin, like a like a skate wheel. And noticed uh, the left handle was leaking, so I tried to stop it from leaking, but made it worse. And that's it. And I woke up. Read it again. I saw I saw a faucet that That's looked. Enough. Okay. What was that line? Um, like I have to jump to action to do something. Hmm. What's that like? I have to do something. Um. It's like uh, urgent, important. Um. Um, <clears throat> any positive or negative about it? <clears throat> um, well, the negative was I wasn't able to stop it. No, no, no. Just with state of mind. So oh, yeah. state of mind? Yeah. So I have to do something. That's what it's like. It's urgent. It's important. All right. Uh, you approach it, uh, I know, you approach it as if it's the most bored thing in the world. No, no. okay, you do it. Uh, I approach it as I need to handle this now and uh... Okay, is there any dread to it? Is there any pleasure to it? Uh, what does that task look like in terms of the things that you want to do? Well, um, in my typical life, that would be an easy fix for me to handle. It would be an, an easy, easy fix. I can handle that, no problem. And enjoy handling it? Um, that's the important part. No, I wouldn't enjoy handling it. Okay, therefore, that's why I'm interested in that added state of mind. Okay, go okay. ahead. Right, it's not... I guess a worried state of mind. Worried. Thank worried. you. Uh, how much? Modest? No, I'd say it's uh, like a frantic. Frantic? Yeah. Okay, all right. Go on with the dream. Watch. It looked like culture, cultured marble, pink and cream in color. That's enough. What's it like seeing that? Unusual, right? Marble. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is? What was that like? Well, in my dream, it reminded me of um, my dad's uh, translations. How he does the different colors and it was that same type of pink that's in my dad's translations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, anything attractive about it? Um, it's uh... Just colored or the marble or... Yeah, it, it was odd looking because I've never seen a faucet like that ever. Yeah, okay. I just wondered whether you might call it. Go ahead. 
Um, so right now it's odd. Yeah, it was... Uh, so, what, is it like any of these pictures on the board? On the wall? Is it beautiful? Yeah, yeah, it was beautiful, actually, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 a little bit or a lot of bit? Come on. Yeah, the, the, the colors were... Uh, It just looked like it was all swirled in together, and it, it, it was. Yeah. I've never seen a faucet like that, so. Yeah. They're always like industrial, like steel yeah. and chrome. Yeah. 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 Looked like it was uh, crafted. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Yeah, handmade. Handmade? Yeah, grass. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Looks like you could might say it's a thing of beauty. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. Then you notice the one on the right is leaking. Left. Left? Oh, the right? Yeah. Okay. The oh. left one's leaking. Well, if you're looking at it, it's the left one. Oh, okay. That's right. So. What's that like when you saw the one? When I saw it leaking? Yeah. Uh, I wanted to stop the leak. Yeah. Go ahead. So, uh, like I said, I don't remember reaching for it, but I, yeah. I feel like I tried turning it as tight as I could, and, and it started gushing out even more. What was that like, seeing that? Um, I was in a panic state, and then I woke up. Yeah. See, see, what did what? See, we added to your statement of the dream states of mind. What did that do to your dream or your understanding of the dream? I don't understand it at all. Okay. Would you just read it? Right. Imagine you just read it. Mm -hmm. Would you agree we have added much more? Yes, definitely. Yeah. You know, what is it like seeing the more? Um, especially, very interesting. Yeah, especially the ending, the panic. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, now watch this one, okay? This early state right here. Got it? I have to do something. It's urgent. It's important. I need to do it now. It's in a worried state of mind, a kind of frantic. Would you agree you've experienced that for some time? Right? Mm -hmm. Like, look here. Here you are. Here's your past. This state of mind goes all the way back, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Right. What am I going to ask you? Examples of it, right? Wherever you go, right, we want to go as early as possible. Mm -hmm. So now this now becomes philosophical midwifery. Do you want to go along that road? Um, heck yeah. Okay, because that's your choice, right? You know what? Yeah, okay. I have nothing to hide, um, so. Well, well, what do you re recollect then of the past where that state was paramount important or p yeah. so, hey as soon as you got into public school what was it like the experience it then actually yeah yeah do you rem remember that same school What grade? Second, third? I'm still trying. Yeah, to okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. Okay, but you do recall that, uh, do you recall any? I, re I recall feeling that way, yes. Yeah, do you remember the scene that was going on? That's what I'm trying to remember. It's, 
trying to remember as far back as I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I should feel or do something sooner. Think of something sooner. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Any past scene. Mm -hmm. All right. Try it. When do you remember having that state? You can remember the event. Well, I just uh, I just had a, a, a state, and this happened after the dream. Yeah. Okay. So um, I was doing a job for this guy, and he called me up out of the blue, and I needed the work at the time, so it just happened. So uh, I meet the guy, really nice guy. You could tell he's going through some like dialysis problems and stuff, and really friendly. So I tell him the prices of, of the jobs that he wants done, and, and he looked like surprised. Like, I didn't know if it was surprised, like I was charging too much or what, but um, I felt it was a fair price. And so he goes, so you're saying you're going to charge me this for this and this for this? And I say, yeah. He says, man, I could do my whole house now if you guys are charging stuff like that. And I was like, all right, cool. So um, I had this tile on the side of my house and really nice. And it was just enough tile to, to finish his floor. And I sold it to him for a buck a foot. So um, I cut it all in, had, the, had him come look at it, and he said he loved it. So I said, all right. So I picked all the tiles up, set them by the door. I start setting out the door, and I reach back, and I dropped all those tiles all over. And uh, there was five of them. I cracked three of them. So now I don't have enough tile. So I got in that frantic state where I started calling myself stupid and this, this and that. And um, I hate that state. Yeah. 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 Where I, I feel I make a mistake that, that I should have never made. So I ended up having to... Uh, go to the, the store that it came from and uh, it ended up being 60 bucks a box. So I have to I had to pay uh, thirty dollars more. So I lost money on the deal but that doesn't matter to me. But at the time and you know what money doesn't matter to me so I don't understand why I was so upset. That's why we want to look at it, you see. Mm -hmm. Uh, um, there's an interesting moment in this deal. Um, when you went and you used the flooring you already had, all right, was that part of your original plan? No. Um, mm -mm. Why did you do that? I was trying hmm. to save him money. Because if I would have went to the store and bought it, He'd he'd spend you know three bucks a foot, and I had this stuff, and I just figured I'd charge him a buck a foot. It wasn't doing me any good, and it was really nice stuff. Mm -hmm. What do you think of that? You're giving something of your own for him. Why didn't you walk away from the deal? Why didn't I just, after I broke it, just walk no, away? No. What do you mean? Not offer the stuff you had in your house. That's yours. It's just the way I am. Okay. It's just the way I am. Okay. All right. So, um, then, when those pieces were broken, you paid for it. Mm -hmm. huh. Why didn't he pay for it? He doesn't even know what happened yet. Oh. I'm still doing the job. Oh, okay. Oh. This just happened just yeah. a couple of days. But the ago. thing that really upset you is that here you, you here you are. You made a mistake I never should have made. Mm -hmm. Right? What does that do to you? Makes Come me on. feel. Huh? Makes me feel uh, like an idiot. This is heavy. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, what's it? Where does it hit you physically? In my heart. 
in the hive. Yeah, right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, it's uh What's it like? Feels like uh I don't like it at all. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. And honestly, when I make mistakes, I'm harder on myself than anybody else could be. Because I just think about it over and over. Yeah, because I think about it over and over, right? Mm -hmm. And what does that do? That pounding away, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. Now, where does that come from? That, that's a long history, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. um, I think you know when it, where it comes from, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's. Uh, it reminds me of when. Uh, you guys all know my dad, and I love him to death. But everybody has a pathologos. Sure. <laughs> but um, when I was younger, okay. if I didn't get something, mm -hmm. he would make me feel that way. I need a scene. He made me feel that way. Doing homework, Dad, how do you do this? And I, he'd explain it to me, and I was like, man, I'm still not getting it, Dad. No, no, do it again. You're doing homework, you're mm -hmm. asking for help, and what is he He's explaining it to me, and uh, I wasn't getting it. So yeah. he, would, uh, he would get mad at me yeah. and make me feel that way about myself. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. and it's just it's impatience, you know, uh, I guess. Say, um... As you went on, when this went on, uh, um, it's nice that you blamed yourself. I always think that's important. Because obviously it couldn't be his problem. Oh, no. No, no. no. Yeah. Well, what do you have? Yeah. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me ask another no, no, question. No. Let me ask another question. Say, is he, are you the kind of person that's likely to have had more than one teacher in life? Oh, yeah. Oh, I imagine you could grade them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What grade would you give your father as a teacher? Now? In this, this moment? We've got it. At, no, my dad, at this moment? At this scene? At this scene? Um, not good at all. Uh, a B. <laughs> yeah. I'd, I'd give him a D. A D. Yeah. Hmm. A D means passing. Yes. <laughs> Barely passing. No. You're right. What, 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 about what? About my B? It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in that, in that moment, my dad got an F. What did he get? He got an F. An F. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you a tough question, right? Do you ever discover whether or not he knew it or not? He couldn't explain it. I, it sure seemed like no, no. he knew it. I don't know. I, well, I'm, by the way... I mean, he was going to college and all this of stuff. Of course, the people go to college are always intelligent. <laughs> no? That's not true. I wouldn't know. I never went to college, so. You're lucky. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> now, look here. He, this happened more than once. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, look here. It happened again and again and again. Mm -hmm. It happened quite it happened a few times. Often. Yeah, it happened. Yeah, times. yeah, yeah. Um, what's until, that? until I stopped asking for his help. Right. Then you, that's easy. Mm -hmm. You decided that he knew or didn't know. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't know if he knew or not. But, but uh, if he did I, know, 
I just was wasn't yeah, willing to, yeah, to yeah. deal with it at that time. Yeah. Uh, what subject was this? Math. Of uh, it's always math. You know that? Is it? It was word problems, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You know what? No one knows how to solve word problems. <laughs> really? Hmm. No one can teach how to solve word problems. Hmm. Yeah, I had a hard time with those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even math teachers don't know how to solve word problems. Yeah. You know, what's so funny now, though, is now that I look into the stars, I see geometry now. I, what see, that, I see geometry. What did that do to your interest in mathematics? Peaked it. It killed it. Well, that killed it, but now it's peaked. Now it's coming back. Yeah. yeah. Now, because I, I, I use a, a, the Pythagorean theorem every day in my, in my job, and I never even knew it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you could now go into math, couldn't you? Oh, yeah. But not then. No. It, did this then cultivate an interest in math or end it? End it. It ended it. I, uh, in high school, I got up to pre-algebra and I wasn't very good at that. No, 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 you couldn't be good at it. No. Because it's the same problem. Hmm. Yeah, I just wondered. Yeah. Someday over a cup of coffee you might uh, discover whether he knows how to teach word problems or not. What will that do to this? Yeah. And what? Uh, I'm going to ask him that. Mm. Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me and my dad, we have a great relationship now. Of course, except for this. And it's took, yeah. and it's took in philosophy to do it. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Uh, were you saving him? Saving him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Blaming yourself you couldn't understand? When he couldn't explain what he knew to you? Well, but what if he did know? What if he does well, know? Well, wait a minute. <laughs> if he did know, how come he can't explain it? No way. I uh, thought it was dense. Were you saving his ass? I guess so. Taking the blame for the failure of the learning rather than let, leaving it on his doorstep? Yeah. Hmm? I, have a, hmm. I have an issue with learning. Yeah. I'm trying. See, then as a kid, this happens everywhere. Then we give up the thing that interested us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, you saw a problem in word problems. Mm -hmm. That's pretty sophisticated. Mm -hmm. And oh, he really? couldn't solve it. Mm -hmm. Because, hey, see, the secret in word problems in algebra is learning why it is you have to know analogies in order to solve it. And no one goes through that door to understand math problems. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Curious, isn't it? It is. Thank you, Peter. Sure, right. Mm -hmm. Another one. Come on, we need a couple of more. Ah, après vous. Okay. That's your copy. Okay. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay. <clears throat> I was driving in my truck with my son. We were going somewhere. Then I saw a tornado coming towards us. So I tried to turn the truck around to go home. Then I see another one taking a building apart. Then I look left and I see another one 
starting on another building. Then I think I've gone too far from where I was supposed to turn to go home. So I tried to go back, then I can't remember how to go home. How about this line here? Then I think I've gone too far yes. from where I was supposed to turn yes. to go home. Yes. Right? Yes. What was that like? It was like... Um, but what did it do to you? What was it like? I felt panicked. I felt um, uh, stuck. I felt... Um, what am I going to do? Um, um, I felt closed, if that makes any sense. Go ahead, go ahead, more. Um, I felt like I couldn't function. What's that like? Like having no mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. What's that like? I don't like that state. Come on, more. It's, it's like um, like you want so badly to be able to to accomplish what you want to accomplish, but you're just, like, gone. Like, there's nothing, you can't reach inside yourself, you can't find something to help yourself. It's just like, there's nothing you can reach out for to help you. Nothing. Mm -hmm. No life, not even a life, you know, like a lifesaver, you know? Mm -hmm. That's a good state. Yeah. No, it's not yeah. a good state. I mean, it's not... <laughs> Yeah, it's very beautiful. Uh, say, what's it like when you saw these uh, tornadoes? You said, I tried to turn the truck around. Right. What was that like? Um, I was in panic mode. Um, I was having very high anxiety. Um, I was trying to remember how to get home. So I was having all these like things rush into me, um, like I felt like I was overflowing with with like negativity, and um, I felt this great weight on me. And I just want to be—I wanted to be relieved of this weight that I, that was pushing on me. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, what's that, the last part? Like, I can't remember how to go home. What's that like? It's because I feel, I think, I don't know if it's in the dream or if it's because I think of it this way, but I think it's because I have all this going on that my mind is not functioning, so I can't remember. It's like my mind is shut down. Because my anxiety is too high, my panic is too high, the weight is too high, so or too heavy. So it's like I almost I can't breathe, yeah. and so yeah. I can't even. You know, my mind's not even working. Yeah. What am I going to ask you? <laughs> How far back? That's right. Ready? <sighs> Thanks a lot, Bob. <laughs> go ahead. Go for it. Uh. Well, that's what we're going to do, right? <laughs> right? There you are. <laughs> right? You. Here's your past. Yeah. Right? Come on. Um, I go along with my brother that it started very young. And uh, I'm a how? <laughs> five. Six. Five. Okay. Six. Five, six. Go ahead. What? Um, He's younger? Or? I, my brother's older than me by a year. Um, oh, yeah. Eleven months. How much? 11 months young, older. I'm 11 months younger than him. Okay. 
So therefore, look here. There it is. Eleven months. Critical months. <laughs> right? Go ahead. Um, so, yeah, uh, I, f I pretty much feel the same way my brother did. Um, that we, when we go to our, when we, in the past, this is in the past, it's not now, that we, when we were younger, when we went to my dad for help, he would make us feel in a certain state of mind. Um, he would uh, make us feel like we couldn't come to him for help. What kind of help did you come for? Math. <laughs> the same problem. Mm -hmm. Or pretty much any type of help I needed any type of help with. Then much. the same thing might happen. Well, any, anything to do with schoolwork. Anything to do with school. Yeah. Anything that, like, if I needed help with math, English, science, anything, anything like that. You found? Yeah. That he would get upset with me because I would understand. Um, is it possible that you, too, have had more than one teacher in your life? <laughs> F, yes. He gets an F. He gets a what? An F. An F? Yeah. Why? Come on. Um, because... Um, Instead of trying to help us to understand, he he um, he closed it down. He closed that that revenue down. He shut it off. Yeah. He turned off the tap. Yeah. We can't. You can't go to him for yeah. any water. Yeah. Yeah. The person you most respect is the person turns out to be an F. Yeah. Yeah, I thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, what happened to your interest in math? Yeah, I still have problems with math to this day. Yeah. Um, my mind, when uh, I have problems with math to this day, I get the same state where yeah. I shut down. Yeah. Um, I feel overwhelmed. Yeah. I feel panicked. Yeah, because it you, you must be your fault. <laughs> that I don't understand? Yeah, I agree. It's because you don't understand. He's right. What do you think? I, it's, I don't think it's my fault that I don't understand because I want to understand. That's my question. <laughs> um, no, I don't think it's my fault that I don't understand. Okay, watch now. What's most important is how did he look during these times? Oh, my, my, um, I remember ever since I was little that my, I looked up to my dad like he was a god. Um, and he seemed big and powerful and intelligent. On, powerful, intelligent. Uh, all knowing. All knowing. Um, full life. Um, this is a high point in his life. Look at this. This is a very powerful state of mind. When he knows or doesn't know. When he can communicate or can't communicate. Yes. What? Both. See, it won't work unless he looks like this. He has to look so knowing that you're going to say you're the dummy. That I'm a dummy, yeah. Yeah. Because given all of this, yeah. finish it. Given all of that, that he's all knowing, and, and if I don't get it, then I must be the dummy. Yeah. Yeah. We do that. All kids do that. Yes. We, that's what we do. Yes. We internalize it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, when else do you see him in that st this state? How important is this state for him to get into? Yes. Um, usually... Um, in the everyday world. Is he in this state? Lately, I've 
have been seeing no, it no, again. No, no, not lately. No, um, in, in the past? No. Usually, usually it was like in crisis moments um, when something like he had to uh, do something to um, make sure nothing bad happened to us. This He would be in this type of state of mind. Say how successful was he in each of those events? Not very successful. Mm, I thought so. What are you saying now? Why people have pathologos? Yeah, is that a con? That's a pathologos. Yeah, it's the false image of the self. Yeah. That we put upon ourselves. Yeah. Because we don't ask the why questions. Yeah. We can't at that age. No, no, we can't. We can't because at that time seeing this, it looks so real. How it does, uh, yeah. How can you yeah. possibly doubt it? It's, it's not, yeah, you can't. You can't but now it. you can. Oh, yeah, definitely. Now I can, yeah. Yeah, what does it look like? Well, lately I can. Go ahead. <laughs> What do you say? Um, what? Say it again. What do you say about it? Um, that through philosophy, I'm able to, to see it. And midwifery, I'm able to see it. If I didn't have philosophy and midwifery, no, I wouldn't be able to see it. No. Does that mean you have a mind? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Does yeah. That mean, does that mean you have a mind? Yeah. Mm. What does that do about his game? It, hopefully it kills it. Mm -hmm. Little by little, hopefully yeah. it kills it. See, we all, in this world, these are, these are moments when we appear most intelligent and all-knowing and full of life, and it's a con. Mm-hmm. Because we can't admit we don't know. Mm-hmm. Or we pretend like we like, know. Like, what would happen at that time if you were to turn around to him and say, um, Hey, Dad, if, if, if you know and you can't explain it to me, how is it that you claim to know it? That wouldn't have been good. What, what? That wouldn't have been good. No, no, what would have happened? He probably would have got more Boom. angry. Yeah. <laughs> Even more angry. Yeah. Yeah, so we defend that state. Huh, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah, that's why he gets mad. Yeah, because he's defending the pathologos. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, darn it. Now... We are not doing justice to the dream. Okay. Let's well, do sorry. justice to it. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Trying to get dream? home. Yes. What does that mean? That I'm trying to go somewhere where I feel um, at peace and where, I'm, where I feel loved and where I feel sheltered and where I feel safe. Mm -hmm. That's home. Right. That's what you're trying to go, and this is blocking you. It's time to see it, isn't it? Where's home at? <laughs> see? Huh. Say so right now, uh, how do you feel? Great. Yeah, the great weight is lifted. Yeah? Therefore, you can... Well, my mind starts working. You can now go home. Yeah. And I... Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay. I don't want to... Go ahead. Like, I, I wanted to say something. There's a quote from Einstein that I came across even for myself. It said that uh, if you can't explain it to a six-year-old, then you don't understand it. Yeah. To the point that he understands it, then you don't understand it. You mean he got fame out of that? Yeah. <laughs>
It's obvious. Yeah. It seems logical. Drop him a note and say, hey, Al. <laughs> what are you talking about the obvious? I've known it for a long time. <laughs> David. Um, I'm, I'm inviting you over to my house to share and my to pleasure. with everybody. Yes. Uh, because I got nothing. Right now. Good. Hey, folks, I'm slightly in a diminished capacity this evening, and I might be able to put it together and throw a whole cup of coffee together. Tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. So if you guys want to come over to my place for coffee and join Pierre and bring your dream and bring your insight and bring your discussion. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get a couple of more dreams. Where's yours? Oh. No, where's yours? Here. Come on, a problem. Where's the problem? Okay, hey, just, just a problem. problem. Just a couple of minutes break because. Okay, a couple of minutes break. Here. It's okay, a couple oh, of wait. minutes break. There's someone here who has a birthday. No. Oh, there's no, someone I, here who has a birthday. Okay. Reliable. Is there a Okay, so this is, let me change the battery. Oh, we're going to still be doing it. No, I, I don't think we have any of it. Okay. I don't think so. Time to change in the battery. <laughs> that's, the, that's the key. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's the great advice Plato gives in the Republic. Yes. That before you go to sleep, create beautiful thoughts and images, and that prepares the mind for breakthroughs in your dreams. So she's already... She just taught me something. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Hey! hey time for work. Okay. 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 Did you read it out loud? Love to. Um, I'm not sure about the beginning, but I think this might have happened on my phone. So I'm going into the world of my phone. Um, there was a team uh, playing a soccer game. And, and they scored. Um, uh, it seemed like a messy game. Go uh, ahead. They set up for a kickoff. I asked if I could play, and they said no. I thought, but it's my team, and it's a team I'm on, and it's my phone. Uh, also, 
also they were uh, they were outnumbered, so I didn't know why they didn't want me to play. So I played defence uh, because their defence was weak. Um, it took a w I, I got the ball. Oh, and I can also sweep from the back, uh, so I could, you know, guide the team. Uh, I finally got the ball. It took a while to get my touch back. Touch means like your control with your feet. Uh, a few seconds. Uh, then I managed to get through, dribble through, and get a shot on goal. Uh, it hit the post. A uh, teammate running past put it into the net and we scored. I went to give him a high five on the way back to the kickoff. He offered me a low five instead, but kept holding onto my hand. Uh, I thought it was an elaborate handshake that they do, um, but every you know, move I tried to make, he didn't go along with it. Uh, so eventually I just pulled away and went back for the kickoff. Um, the team was standing in a circle. Um, the team was standing in a circle discussing how to dance after scoring. Uh, I wanted to get back to playing. Um, I had more goals I wanted to score um, and time was running out. Um, I wanted to get started while they were busy discussing how they were going to celebrate. Uh, I wanted to get started so I can play well and have some fun. <coughs> what am I going to ask? Uh, was that a success or a failure? Mm -hmm. Failure. Why? Because um, I didn't get to play the way I wanted to. His answer is out of the dream. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Someone else? What would you ask? I just had a question. I don't know if it's a trivial question or not, but why wouldn't they want you on a team if you scored a goal? Didn't you score a goal in the beginning of the dream? Oh, no, sorry. I walked past hold and it, I was hold watching. It, hold it, hold it, hold it. Um, That's not a good question? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. You're asking him about something that's not in the dream. That's what I was wondering, if it was in the no, dream. No, wait a while. You like the question, though. Yes, I was curious yeah. about the question. I don't know why. What are you cur curious about? Because I was wondering if he scored a goal, then no. it seemed like they would want no. him on the team. No. Try again. It's like the whole. It's like the whole thing was curious to me. No. Key point. On. Okay, someone else. It's on the why. It's on the why. The why? It's on the why. Why? Yeah, why? why? Yes, the why. Yeah, he's asking the question. That's the right question. Okay. But is there a goal in the dream? Is there a goal? Like a goal? Well, that, that <laughs> happens to be an issue. Right. But you should tell me. You don't you see a goal, or you find it difficult assigning a goal to this dream. Yeah, it seems like that's there's right. a lot of that's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Cool. There's a lot of like, things look, going on. Look, see, every dream is a story in itself. It has its own logic built in within it. So you have to stay within the dream. All right. Given that, why does he have the question? Mm -hmm. 
if, come on, if this is said in the dream. Read that, please, in the dream. The... I thought, but it's my team. It is my team. Yeah. My phone. It's a team I'm on. It's a team he's on. It's my team. It's a team he's on. And it's on my phone. And? It's on my phone. What the heck that means? Yeah, the whole, the whole scene. I think I went into my phone to play a football game. Oh. Wait a minute. In the dream? Yeah. Then you left the game and are now looking at your machine. No, no. It starts like there was a team playing soccer in my phone. Like I went into my oh, phone. Oh, this whole thing is The whole on thing here. is in the phone. That's okay, as long as we know where it's at. Mm. Okay. Stay again. My team. Whose team? His. Therefore, what is, what is he in respect to the, the team? Pardon? The captain, the owner. Oh, the captain or the owner, therefore? Mm. Why is he asking? Yeah. That's the problem of the dream. Mm. Ah, yeah. Because? Because if he's the captain or the... Why is he asking then? Yeah, why is he asking then? That's the problem of the dream. Yes. Right? Mm. So therefore you want to know, what is it like when he asks that question? Since that question is, yeah, it's a why question. Doesn't make any sense. That's yeah, why it's important. Yeah. That's where you want to focus. Okay. Yeah, I think that's where it got. Like, so what did what would you ask then? Why did you ask that question? No. No. Um, what state of mind oh, is like? that? Like, right. right. <laughs> In the dream, at that moment, when you're asking. What is that like to ask at that moment? I'm very eager to play. Um, I, I really want it. It's a recurring thing. Playing soccer is a recurring dream thing. And it's something I really, really want. And I feel small and outside when I ask if I can play and also kind of empty and scared because my fate depends on the response of others. What do you want to do with that? How far back does that state of mind go? Right, but you might get more, get him to talk more, more about, about it, it first, right? right. So, you know the kind of question you ask? Watch, it's very clever. Okay. Huh? Huh? <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, well. What's that like? Um, um, more words. Very familiar. Yeah, more. Very common. Um, sort of uh, melancholic, uh, isolated. Um, small at the whim of a a world that might not let me participate in what I love to do the most. Um, sort of like evening time, like an inevitable failure on the horizon. Um, and, and I remember feeling, oh, I've always wanted to do this for so long. And it's been so long, and, and why has it been so long? No, no. Yeah. Familiar with this now? Come on. Read yeah. it. Read it with me. Come on. Small, right? Kind of empty feeling, right? A scared, right? Familiar, uh, isolated, alone, uh, in a world I might not believe, be part of, inevitable failure. Yeah. What does that do to you, Fitzgerald? You know, to you. Where do you feel that? Um, where do I feel it? In the head? Yeah. Well, like what? Um, as if what? As if I'm sort of closing up upon myself. 
Could do it again. I'm closing up. up closing up. Um, uh, the world seems meaningless and bleak. Okay, look here. That's the state of mind, see? Mm -hmm. That represents that. Would you agree you've had that state of mind for a long time in your life? Dear Lord, yes. What am I going to ask? Where does it begin? Right. Go ahead. Or the earliest you can go. Just anything that comes into your mind, you don't have to worry about it. Um. I don't want to make a problem out of remembering. That's something I've done before. Um, so I feel small. Outside. How old are you? Four? No, yeah, four years old. That's right. Fine. Yeah, what you, what's happening around you? Um. Uh, my family uh, are singing a song that makes fun of me. They're making... They're singing a song. They're singing a song. That teases me, puts me down. Hold it. Uh, mother and father? Uh, my mother. Mother? Um, my sister. Older? Younger. Younger? Um, They're singing a song, right? And my f mother's friend. What kind? The song? Uh, her friend. A uh, uh, family friend, um, her age, so no, like another parent. Another parent, okay. And uh, her son. And they're all? They're all singing a song. They're, yeah, they're all singing a song, right? Oh, is that the same right. feeling? Yeah. And the song is? Uh, making fun of me yeah. for liking someone. Making fun of me for? Liking a person. How do they look, singing? Like they were happy and having fun. They're happy, yeah, yeah, yeah. More happy than they usually appear? Yeah. So this is a high state for them. Yeah, they're joking and having fun in a way that they don't usually yeah, joke. Yeah, they're having fun and enjoying it. Yeah. yeah it's a high mo moment for them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Now, what would you say they're doing? Do you, what name would you give for what they're doing? Uh, a bad name. Um, teasing? Bullying? Um, teasing? Yeah, teasing. Uh, what do you think of parents teasing kids, their own kid? Come on. Well, they think it's funny. Yeah. They have a very stupid sense of humor. Yeah, that's true. It's always at someone's expense. Of course. What would you call them then? What they're doing? Um, um, being mean, being horrible, uh, ganging up, bullying. Ganging up, ganging up. Ganging up, yeah. Um, oh, here we go. Um, their joy and happiness comes at the expense of a sacrifice. Oh, then you're the sacrifice. I'm the sacrifice. Oh. Are they religious? Um, my dad was a principal at a Catholic school. I went to a Catholic school and I was made to be an altar boy and all that jazz. Yeah, yeah. And you're the sacrifice. I'm the Jesus. Yeah, you're the sacrifice. I'm the, I'm the sacrifice, yeah. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice that you're there for a sacrifice because Ordinarily, you can't buy one. Well, you can't buy a sacrifice. Yeah, yeah. It's nice that they have you for the sacrifice, isn't it? Yeah, no. 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 <laughs> oh. No. Oh. You don't throw a kid under the bus. What? You don't throw a kid under the bus. No. Um. They're they're bound by their mutual non-suffering. Wait a no. minute. Wait a minute. They're making fun of you for liking a person. Yeah, and asking a question, actually. I asked a question. Oh, what question was it? Um, uh, 
um, how do we keep playing? Like, oh. how do we keep playing? How do we keep playing? Like, what stopped the game? And yeah. how? Uh -huh. No. You're liking a person. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. What kind of a person? A girl person. Huh? Female person. Oh, oh. What are they? Therefore, what lesson are they trying to drive home? Because the person you want to relate to is a girl. Yeah. Yeah. What is your? What are their views about boys and girls? I don't know. Huh? From the scene? Yeah. Well, I, that's all. I just wondered. You know, you know me. I wonder about things. It's bad. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, they're making this into a teaching, is that right? Yes. Oh, oh and you're yes. the good student. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, yeah. They, they did put, spend a lot of time training me to be a good student. I remember all through primary school, like, never losing eye contact with the teachers. Yeah, and afraid. they want to keep you, avoid women? Yeah, avoid? oh, yes. Pardon? Yeah. Yep. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Why? What? Why? I don't know. I'm sure the parents. I don't. I don't know. Well, we can do. Uh, it doesn't appear like they're being friendly. Not to me. Yeah, and <laughs> you happen to be her son. Yeah. Yeah, that's your mother. Usually, mothers are, have sons or daughters. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, curious, isn't it? Yeah. Curious that mums have. Yeah, and they are now making fun of you for liking a person. I guess that helps you go on and gain relationships. No. No. Oh, it doesn't. Yeah. Oh, what's going on? Are they protecting their role? By I don't know. What do you think? It's what's going on here. In order to protect their role as the Noah, as being a mother who has a son, they're preventing me from being a father myself I don't know what no I? that's too that's too much um, they're teaching me that this is something wrong with what I'm doing yeah yeah do you think it's wrong by the way no oh oh this is it curious that you couldn't turn around at that age and say what yeah. ideally what would you have liked to have said what the hell are you doing this oh, is that's not, not enough go ahead um, try it again why are you uh, teasing a kid for... Yeah, not enough. Um, what are they teaching you? That relationships are bad. Oh, oh. What do you want to tell them about it? Relationships are not bad. I don't know. What, what? What do you want to tell them? Yeah, what are you going to tell them? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Tell me. No, I'd like to write it down, so... I don't know, what do I tell them? Huh? What can I tell them? I don't know, I just asked you what, ideally if you were there at that time, knowing what you know, what would you tell them? Knowing what I know, um, I would, I'd say, well, there are many things wrong with your parenting style. What are you doing? This is dangerous what you're teaching a kid. Uh, there's nothing wrong with relationships. Why are you projecting? Oh, oh, this is a pathologist oh. transfer scene. Oh. Cut it out. <laughs> Yeah, what do you think they'd do if you held, if you answered back that way? Oh, they'd just pile it on more. Oh, they'd pile it on. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, they don't like you. Oh, because that's a response, and they've won, and they think that's funny to just keep poking. Just keep on going. Yeah. And make it worse. Yeah, so I remember at the time closing up and thinking, well, there's nothing I can do. I can't even ask questions. Yeah, but wait a minute. Of course you can. But not at that age. Now you can. Now you're asking questions about this, aren't you? Yeah, you closed down. Yes. Now, now which of the... Uh, are they closed down or are you closed down? In the scene? Yeah. They're closed down. Yeah, that's right. They're closed down. They're afraid of relationships, aren't they? Are they? They're afraid of you getting into a relationship? Why were they afraid of it? I don't know, but I, I, are they around? Go and ask them. 
So, hey, I'm interested in knowing why you pulled this off on me. Uh, why are you afraid of relationships? You could ask that now, couldn't you? Yeah, but I don't think I'd want to... Why not? Because they don't want to engage with me. They're not interested in understanding. Well, do you want to live this or do you want to answer it? I want to answer it. Well, go answer it. You have to ask a question to get an answer. Let me see if that's true. Who do I ask the question to? That's something Julie often says. That if you want to get an answer, you have to ask a question. To the real life person. That's what that's what she says. She's a very uh, very What's the question? What's the question? Abroad. Yeah. What's the question, Julie? Uh, whatever it is, she says to get an answer you have to ask a question. She's just my girl. Yeah. 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 It's logic. So what are you gonna ask them? Right now, what are you gonna ask them? Um, why are you afraid of relationships? Yeah. Are you gonna ask them that? Are they alive? Yeah. Why why don't you ask them? Because they won't, I don't think they'll answer. You think they're dumb? I think they'll play dumb. They play dumb? Yeah. Are they playing dumb here? Yeah. What? Yeah. Looks like they seem to know. Don't they look like they look like they, they know what they're doing? Yeah, that's the essence of the, of the, the song. The song is, the song is, um, uh, it goes, now we know. Now we know, now we know, as though it's a bad thing. Oh. For me. Yeah. That was the joke. Now we know. Yeah. So they're... Oh, my God, that's so... So what do you want to ask them now that they're alive? You get on the phone. Hey, I got a question for you, Mom. Go ahead. What are you going to ask them? What did you think you know about relationships that made you afraid of them? Oh, you're going to put the ball... You're going to put it on them. Good question. But I don't want to... That's me... No, that's me leaving my fate in the terms of... Uh, the soccer team, like I don't want whether or not I can play in this game to be reliant on them, on her saying yes, I'll participate in this conversation. But you can't ask the question. That's why you have the problem in the game. You can't ask them. You can't ask the why. Why are they doing that? That's the same question we're asking. In the dream, you can't ask them. Hey, I want to play. It's my team. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Do you have to ask them? No, I just take the field. Right. So therefore, you want to you want to know why. I want to know why they're saying I can't yeah. play. Yeah. Yeah. You want to know why they're saying that, don't you? But what if they don't? What if they don't answer? I don't know. It's your question. I think you said something. I forgot what it was. Uh, what did you think you know about relationships that made you afraid of them? Well, yeah, yeah. or why are you? Uh, Doing it to me? Yeah, well, I... Yeah, yeah. Is that a good question? No, because they, if they hear that question, yeah. they'll have delight in the fact that I'm suffering again and I'll be a sacrificial lamb. I'll play along with their joy. Their Why thing... are you pl- You're still a sacrifice then? Yeah. Aren't you getting tired of being a sacrifice? Yes. Yeah, so what do you have to do to get out of it? Ask some... Wait... Yeah. Wait. Go ahead. Hang on a second. Do huh? what? Do I? I don't know. Do I ask them? I don't know. The, you tell me. No, I don't want to tell you. You tell me. No. Go Pierre. No. You tell me. I don't know. A damn thing. Well, it, it, it seems like in order to be free of the path of logos, we have to provide the logos and the question and the. I don't. Know. That's too complicated. Okay. Anyway. We have to ask the question that we didn't ask when we were kids. So, what kind of question are you going to ask? Uh, why were you making me afraid of relationships? Not bad. What do you think of it? What, what will that do to them? They will pretend that I've hurt them by asking and then not answer the question and what maybe they, laugh at me for being a pain. Okay. What will it do for you to ask the question of them? The hell with what they do with the answer. Uh. I want to make sure I'm asking. Yeah. No. What will it do for? What will it do for me asking yeah. the question? It would make sense of the confusion I have around my own suffering and pain when it comes up. No okay. kidding. Might get rid. You mean it might get a, it Might get rid of it? 
it well, it might get rid of it. Or could, might, should, would, would I don't know. What will, is it? Will get rid of it. Oh, it will. Oh. So you know what to do to change your state of mind? No. I'll be darned. Do I? Yes. I, do. I don't know. No, but you do know, because you're the midwife. You've written the books. I don't know anything about books. <laughs> So that's all that's needed to become free of the pathologos, to be able to ask that question to preferably them if they're alive, whether or not they answer or not, then you're free. What do you think it's going to do to you? I don't know. Hmm? Uh, hopefully free me, I don't, but I'm not oh, sure. Oh, you'll find out then, we have to ask them. Yeah. On the f email or phone? I don't know, I don't know. What does the dream say? <laughs> I don't know. How, how, do, how would you normally get in touch with them? Email. Oh, because I don't not like, good enough. Not good have enough. you done on the phone? Yeah, I should get on the phone. Huh? Yeah, the phone. They don't have one? No, they have one. I just don't like talking to them because they're not very nice. Yeah, but on this, would you like to hear their voice? Oh. <laughs> That's going to be a short conversation. Oh, who cares? You, all you got is one question. Why did you make me a fair relationship? Yeah. This person. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, I'll, definitely I'll ask them. Oh, what do you think I'll do for you? Make me enlightened. Oh. <laughs> or if it doesn't, we'll have to figure out why not. Yes. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll have to see, won't we? Or you will. Will I end up with another question to call them and ask them? Well, do you need another one? No. Do I? No. I do. I don't know. Well, it depends on how many pathologos I've yet to see. I don't know anything about that pathy what? <laughs> um, <laughs> what? I don't, I, I don't know anything about what you're talking about. So you, you got, it seems to me you got a question you're, you're interested in asking someone. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Have a good day. Should I stack up a lot of questions? <laughs> What? Should I stack up a lot of questions? To I ask don't them? know. Do you? What other questions do you have want to ask them? Um, uh, well, uh, the questions I need to become free of the other pathologos. What? That you got another one? Yeah. You got another so-called patho one? Yeah, yes. Yeah. What is it? Um... From, from that dream, should we use the dream as the launching pad? Uh, um, well, everybody was celebrate. Everybody was celebrating in the dream. Yeah, you couldn't join them. I couldn't join them because that would be having a relationship, oh. wouldn't it? You're not allowed to have a relationship. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, curious, isn't it? Yes, they're oh, very good, curious. Good, good, good. For the person. Is there more I should be... Is there... I don't know whether there's more unless you tell me more. Oh, okay. Um, so, so what should I do when... I don't know. Oh. Try to ask the next question. <laughs> the next question. I don't even give advice to my dog. <laughs> I don't. I try to give it to my wife sometimes. It's a hell of a trouble. Can I just ask a quick question, guys? And I don't know if Ted has this question or not, but I can see going back to his family or me going back to mine, having concluded at the end of a dream like this that this is what they were doing, and it sure looks reasonable that that is what they were doing, and then I asked them this question, why did you try to, uh, you know, discourage me from relationships? And they might say... No, no, hold it. Hold it. Yeah. They don't know why they're doing it. Exactly. Well, that's my question. Because but the question is, what is it... No, no. The question is, what is it going to do for you? I, I the hell with them. I, I, I got that part. That's the important part, is what it does for you. But I I'm still have this interest, like you're on the phone with them, it, they may hang up on you. But of you course, oh, wait a minute, did you got a chance to ask your question? As long as you get the question in. But then what if they say... That doesn't matter. 
It doesn't matter. What, got, if, what, what, Pierre, what if they say, I mean, we're not hey, making fun of you. doesn't make any we difference. Just, we were just hey, singing. What if they deny it? It doesn't, who, doesn't matter. It's up here, up here. Mm-hmm. No, they're throwing it back at you. The only it's, thing it's that fault. matters is you, yourself. How is it going to make you feel? What's it going to do for yourself? The hell with everything else. Mm-hmm. How is yourself going to feel when they say, oh, you came to that conclusion yourself, it's not real. Fine. It's not you, buddy. So what? The question is, what is, will it do for him to do that? That's all. Mm-hmm. Well, Jed, what do you say? I say I'll let you know tomorrow at David's um, uh, lunch. Okay. Good. Is, is you said happy with the answer? Prompt me if I'm not seeing anything. No, you're fine. You're good. See, that was my hey, question. I do. So there's nothing me. more important than oneself. Yeah. You have to make a stand for yourself. You are the important one. Period. There's nothing more important than your personal integrity. Mm-hmm. You have to gain it. You have to recover it. You have to live with it. It doesn't make a damn of difference whether the world ends tomorrow morning. If you get your question out, you'll watch it fall and enjoy it. Not if they deny it, that's the thing. Uh, if, if it doesn't, well, if you say that it doesn't matter, then why are you even picking up the phone? Because you're coming out. Yeah. That's right. Do it. Because you're, 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 com- you're coming out. You're coming out. Yes. You're revealing where you really are at. You're, you are trying to right an injustice. Every problem, no matter what you do with it, is always the same thing. Someone acted unjustly towards you. Your job is to call them on that injustice. What they do with it, it's up to them. And also, if, if that's their response, then you get another level to what they're going to give you is the limitation of the path of logos. I mean, like, if they agree with it, that'd be great. So, no, it doesn't make any difference. I understand that, but it's also a nice observation that that's the next level that you're afraid yeah, of. But that you would faced be, it. if they did that, that would be their next level, not the self mm-hmm. in question. I, I would agree there. I'm not challenging that. So? I'm just indicating that if that's how they react to it, that's, that's the irrelevant. next level in the game. Yeah. And it's, it's good essentially, to see it. it's irrelevant. But isn't it good to see that? Hmm? Isn't that good to see? That, that that's me. what your Pardon question me. brings? It is irrelevant. How is it irrelevant? It is irrelevant because the only thing that matters is the individual's perception of themselves and the way they value themselves and they're willing to reveal themselves. That's all the game is about. And wouldn't it be good to see for oneself what you, it is You that might have an interest in that. Take a look. What is it that I would have an interest in? Pardon me. <laughs> what is the point? I said it's irrelevant. And I yeah, gave I you the reasons it. for it. You may find an interest. Do you think I don't see it's not? I, I mean, I see that their response opens up a door. Why wouldn't that be important for the self to see? I've already answered it. Well, is that related to the self? That, hey, this is something else that is important. Okay. That I... No, okay, it's your view. Okay. What is exactly my view? The point of view you're you're presenting is your point of view. I'm saying it. Okay. Well, I don't see my point of view. I don't see my point of view as not being part of the self. Yeah, I know. Well, good. I'm glad. But what is it it that I'm doing that's not part? You can see it, but I guess I don't. I guess even if they did respond, I, I... See, I kind of only... I don't know if this sounds mean. I kind of only value the thoughts and conversation from people more or less in this room. So anything they have to say after that, I kind of don't care about anyway. Like, um, so it seems to be the act of just 
instead of shrinking away at the pain that I'm, I feel, the act of standing up and saying, oh, this is unjust, why did this happen? is sort of a different approach to taking, sort of a different approach to life's problems. Like in my dream, um, they said I couldn't play even though those reasons, but I didn't actually st speak up. And if they, if, even if they complained, it wouldn't matter because I'm okay with myself and that's the thing that I want to be. Like, it, this experience is happening here and no matter how anyone reacts, I want to be happy and able to know myself and figure out what the hell's going on because I don't know and every time I ask him he doesn't give me an answer so it doesn't really matter what they say and I think what he says about if the world ends tomorrow but you still got that question it's, it's still good then maybe speaking or acting with integrity is the only thing we take with us lifetime to lifetime and perhaps moment to moment because I'm imagining going into these scenes, relationship scenes, which I have no clue about because of this block. And I'm deathly afraid because I'm so old and I have no idea and I might get taken advantage of. So I don't know what to do. And that's a good reason not to do it. But instead of that, if the game is just speaking up about what you're seeing with curiosity and integrity, I guess I can do that. That's in your. That's what you can do. That's what. That's what is there for you to do. It so seems to be all that there is. Act with integrity and to deal with them. They acted unjustly, and now you're calling them on it. Is there more that has to be done in the face of unjust actions other than calling on it? See, you're wondering whether something else may follow. Yes. The only question that matters is what will happen to you by asking the question. I guess I'll get some feedback as to what kind of a world I live in. Give like, sorry, what, what will happen if if you ask questions about what I'm that curious. Are most important to you that up to this point you have never asked. Yes. Because yeah. I was afraid of asking, mm -hmm. and now. I'm not. So you're going to find out. Yeah. If you decide to do it. And I'll have a dream tonight. And we could even go over it at Davis tomorrow. Oh, you're a genius. <laughs> <laughs> now I know why you're here. <laughs> um, here, I think there was some misunderstanding. If I ask somebody or I ask them the question and they give me a response, <laughs> then I do see what their response is. And I can then check to see what my reaction is. And if it's giving me another problem, wouldn't that be considered relevant to myself? And what you're saying it would then raise another problem for you. Right. So what does that got to do with our discussion? So you can... What does that have to do with the issue? The issue is that it it can, you can go and ask and find out if they do respond, day or nay, but you have asked and whatever their response is can raise it to another level for you. It raises it to another level. Mm. Raises it to yourself. I don't know what that, that means. It, it, it could trigger another path like this. Yeah, you have to talk about what, what, what it is that you see. Come on, I'll put it on the well, board. Well, whatever, whatever okay. their response is, if it is like Jeff said, yeah. then you'd have to ask yourself, uh, what reaction do you have to their response? Why? Hold it. Why wouldn't you? Hold it. Um, yes, you might be able to uh, uh, see their response. See their so response. what? Yeah, that's true. See, 
Yeah, you'll see what reaction they have to. Uh, no, what what I have to their response. Okay. So that could raise no, it, okay. or I could just say thing. Or I could what say what I what I what think or feel. about their response. Yeah, I could walk away or I could uh, have an e it could have an effect. Raise it to another level. Or Pardon, I could walk away. Say it's irrelevant Hold it. as you said. I could walk away. Irrelevant. My or, or it may cause another. How, how may it cause another problem? If you're using the word technically as a midwifery a problem. Uh, I'd like to see that it could be possible. Well. Because the nature of the problem is always the same thing, which is something you were too young to deal with. There was an injustice. You were too young to deal with it. The implications are you carry the weight of the defeat and the loss of the, in, in the sense of injustice, right? So therefore, they, they can't cause another problem because you're no longer that too young to respond. So therefore, it cannot raise another problem if you mean the pathologos problem because the conditions are not there anymore. You mean because of the initial uh, question or issue? You're dealing with the first issue. Is that what you're saying? I don't know what, what you just said. This is my answer. I, I don't see how what you're saying contributes, or I don't understand it. What was your last remark? What do you want to say it or repeat it? Uh, well, you can ask you can ask a question, but sometimes you get a response. The response is uh, may trigger a, uh, you may not be able to walk away from it. You may end up being affected by it. Are you what saying you do with that? it will produce another problem? Yes or no? It can. Yeah. It cannot for the reason I just gave. You cannot have a new pathologos problem once you reach the adult age when you have the courage and the possibility of answering. Well, I don't think it... But like, like now, if your father were to try to help you with math oh, at this fine. point, you come to him, to, would you put up with it? No. no. You're, you're a father. So yeah. You have a mind. Yeah. This is before a child reaches the age of having a mind. That's why... Right. That's why it's important to go back to the earlier age, like two, three, four, five, six. That's where it takes place. 10, 11? Uh-uh. 12? Rare. So you're saying that, whatever, that you're free of it as soon as you present it and whatever reaction you have from it uh, is irrelevant. Or I don't understand. If somebody's affected by their response, isn't that something to explore, or would it be? Oh, yeah. It isn't. Well, that, that's different than what you're saying now. Mm. If, well, okay. if, in, if in saying that, he's blocked in any way, then that shows another kind of problem. Oh, okay. Well, that's all. Maybe it's just and the way therefore, I'm saying it. there'd be another problem you'd have to look for to see the origin of that. Well, maybe it's but that would not be another new problem. Well, I didn't say a Pardon, new you problem. did. I thought it would be another layer, but you're putting it, uh, I didn't say new problem, but 
it may be another problem in the sense that I thought thought it would be another layer to it. Could be. If you could be, if you're reactive, if you react, then it, there is something look here. that's still not seen. We will not understand what you mean until you explain what you mean by another level. Well, it's something that you haven't seen in your pathologo. That is that there's something that is still uh, un unseen or un. Then, then you are not talking about a response today in terms of someone confronting an old, early problem. You're talking about what might happen in the early, in the early stages of this problem, and that's normal. That's all. I've got, I've got a, the other question I'm going to ask them. No. Why did they only give me care when I was near death? I'll give you only... Care, attention, yeah, when, compassion, when I was near death. When you were... Near death. Like near, uh, suffering. Near death. Yeah, like sick. Sick. Or time was running out. Yeah, or on the deathbed. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's right. That's um, a good one, right? Or when I'm asleep. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Can I ask them yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. What does that show about them? You got it. What does that show about them? Uh, they want me to die. What? They want me to die. Ah, no. not good enough. The, uh, what's, the, what's the difference between doing it when you are happy? Oh, uh, yes. Huh? Yes. I what's the difference? Um, this is the opposite of happy. You can't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't be happy. Why were they afraid of me being happy? Yeah, that's good. And therefore, why do they only do it when you're close to death or sick? Yeah, or... Hey, does that fit their view of a relation? They can't themselves have... A, a happy relationship. Oh. That might be another good question, might not it? Why can't you have a happy relationship? I don't know. You just said it. I forgot it. What? No, the, qu the question is... Why can they only have a positive relationship when it's sick or death? When you're suffering, when you're in pain. Yeah. My, my dad said he, he saw me mowing the yard once and I had headphones on and I was singing and dancing. I was doing the job well, but he said he'd never been more angry in his life. <laughs> and every like little tool I have to make the, the, the work go better, he would destroy and I have to rebuild every time I mow the lawn. Oh. And every time he'd come home from work, he'd be complaining about how much suffering he was in. And whenever he saw us having fun, he would give us chores oh. to make us unhappy. Oh, they like you in a state They of want us in a state of unhappiness yeah. and fear. Yeah. Yeah, same question, right? Why can't they... Uh, uh, be happy. Uh, in, have a happy... You when you are happy. Why can't they appreciate me when I'm happy? Mm. Why can't they appreciate me when I'm yeah. happy? Yeah. Hey, that make great nurses. <laughs> yeah, my mum was a nurse. Yeah, of course. That's a nurse. Why? Because they can only show care to people who are sick, so they become a nurse. But then I, every time I need something, I have to be sick. Yeah, that's a nurse. <laughs> Is that a guess? No, that's horrible for me. Oh, yeah, but that's fun. Is that a joke? They're a bunch of jerks. <laughs> They are a bunch of jerks. Yeah, well, you're gonna, you can tell them that. <laughs> Wait, is that what a nurse is? I thought nurses were good. Now that's that, that, that's the real reason many <laughs> are nurses. You know why some people are cops? <coughs> because they like to beat up people, so they put on a uniform, then they can beat up people. Is that true of every profession? <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. Haven't you discovered that yet? In the last two years, I've found everyone in a position of authority... Not everyone, but a good number of them. A very large percentage. Yeah. Seem yeah. to be the exact People opposite. People always take their pathologos and use it for their profession. Nice. <laughs> Should I tell you what practologists are? What? No. <laughs> I had a, a brother-in-law that was a physician. And that was their normal joke among all doctors. 
their specialty is the nature of their problem. Mm. They don't know it. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. Well, well, then, what then is my nature of my problem? I don't know. If I'm a musician. I don't know. You, oh, you, I think you want to be happy. I do want to be happy. Yeah, that ain't no profession. What does that mean? It means you can't get a job that'll make you happy. You have to find a way to be happy yourself. Mm. Yourself. You got to find a way to get happy. To end your misery. Ain't no job. It's not on a bulletin board. What is it? Just you. Just yourself. Me. That's all. Just how I relate to my direct experience. What? How I relate to my... Do no. Me, myself. What is yeah, it? yeah, that's it. But then, if the job we get is an indication of our problem, then we have that's to... The normal world. The normal world is sick. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. Uh huh? Yeah, it's normal. But you have to find a way to live through the bullshit. How? Yeah, and save yourself. That's life. That's but, why you were born. But, and there's no job or profession that would facilitate that in a better way? So every job just strengthens up that load. I didn't say every job. I said most, most. or often. often. Okay? Yes, sometimes some people are very, really rare and they get them doing something they love. How many people do you know are doing what they love for money? Um, Come on! Um, or do they just love the money? Most people love the money. Yeah, they're weird. We don't have to be weird because they are, though. Then if we love philosophy, if we love the yeah. mind and understanding... Yeah, they call us weird. They're right. <laughs> but what's the job doing what we love in? You can't make a buck in philosophy. Yeah. Don't worry about it. So where do you make a buck if you're a philosopher? I don't know. I don't know. You'll have to find out. You can't... <clears throat> you can make a buck if you taught philosophy. Can you not make a buck at all? With, well, I don't know. I've never known. Do you know anyone who's making a buck doing philosophical midwifery? Uh, no, but I don't know many people doing philosophical midwifery. Yeah, okay. But is there anyone making it? I don't know. Well, that, didn't Regina prove it's the only... I don't know. Is there anyone? Fun? Nothing more important than the self. It's all about the self. And nothing else matters. Right? Mm -hmm. To show yourself, to reveal yourself, to be sincere about it, and that's all you have to worry about. But the rest take it take its own place, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Fun. Thank you guys. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Now it's time to be able to get a cup of coffee. In the dream, there was dancing after they... Yeah, doing the chair dance. <laughs>